Estamos vivendo um momento sem precedentes e a transição energética segue no centro das prioridades globais. O Brasil tem a clareza sobre a importância de buscarmos novas tecnologias, desenhos regulatórios, modelos de negócios para o setor de energia. A transição energética está no DNA do nosso país. E cada vez mais avançamos em políticas públicas que busquem implementar novas soluções e que tragam mais oportunidades de desenvolvimento para o Brasil. Temos muita alegria em hospedar pela primeira vez no nosso país a 15ª reunião de ministros da Ministerial de Energia Limpa, SEM, e a 9 reunião ministerial da Missão Inovação MI. Dois importantes fóruns que auxiliam vários países incluindo o Brasil, a encontrar soluções técnicas para a transição energética global, desde a etapa da pesquisa e desenvolvimento até a plena viabilização dessas tecnologias. Entre os dias 1 e 3 de outubro de 2024, estaremos reunidos na cidade de Foz do Iguaçu, na região sul do nosso país, para avançarmos em uma agenda ambiciosa de entregas. Planejamento de longo prazo, segurança energética, resiliência dos sistemas elétricos, CCUS, biocombustíveis, hidrogênio e sistemas de armazenamento e o papel da inovação para a transição energética são alguns dos temas que trataremos na nossa reunião ministerial. Não poderia ter lugar melhor do que Foz do Iguaçu para receber um evento tão relevante. Estamos ansiosos para fazer dessa reunião ministerial um marco de sucesso na história da CEM e da MI. Além de ser a cidade que abriga as cataratas do Iguaçu, uma das sete maravilhas do mundo, que tem na potência das águas uma das nossas principais belezas naturais, Foz do Iguaçu também é a cidade que para todos nós, brasileiros e brasileiras, simboliza um caso de sucesso da integração energética regional da América Latina. É com esse espírito que queremos ter a participação ativa de representantes dos governos dos países, membros do setor privado, da sociedade civil, da academia e de todos os demais interessados para fazer desse momento um marco relevante para a transição energética global. Com o apoio dos nossos amigos indianos, tivemos avanços importantes na reunião ministerial realizada em Goa no ano passado. Com os resultados que alcançaremos nesse ano em Foz do Iguaçu, queremos impactar positivamente as discussões que teremos na reunião ministerial de transições energéticas do G20, que ocorrerá paralelamente e inclusive na COP30, que também hospedaremos no nosso país no ano que vem. Contem com o Brasil nessa jornada. Convido a todos e a todas para fazer parte desse momento histórico. Vamos juntos construir uma transição energética justa, inclusiva e equilibrada. Nos vemos em outubro na cidade de Foz do Iguaçu. I am Diego Pardo, Minister of Energy of Chile, and as we celebrate the 15th anniversary of the Clean Energy Ministerial, I am proud to reflect on Chile's active and impactful participation on this global platform. One of our core commitments is advancing in gender diversity in clean energy profession throughout the Equality in Energy Transition Initiative. We believe that the transition to a clean energy future requires tapping into the full spectrum of talent by supporting women and underrepresented groups in energy roles. We are fostering a more inclusive and innovative sector. Through the Long-Term Energy Scenarios Initiative, we are enhancing our energy planning models to accelerate our clean energy transition. These scenarios are highly valuable for identifying options, assessing risks, and crafting policies that ensure cost-effective and sustainable energy future for Chile and beyond. In pursuit of cleaner transportation, the Electric Vehicle Initiative has been very relevant. We have worked on deploying electric vehicles through policy recommendation, technical workshop, and global dialogues. This initiative not only supports our environmental goals, but also drives innovation in the automotive sector. Lastly, our engagement with Hydrogen Initiative is helping to elevate ambition for clean hydrogen and its derivatives by advancing these technologies we are positioning hydrogen as the key enabler in clean energy transition. Vital 
for achieving long-term sustainability. Chile is honored to be part of the Clean Energy Ministerial journey. As we look to the future, we remain committed to collaborating on this critical initiative, driving innovation and building a sustainable energy future for all. Thank you. 尊敬的亚历山大夏维拉部长 新成的一系列丰硕成果，为全球清洁能源转型提供了有力支撑。中国国家主席习近平曾向第七届第八届清洁能源部长级会议的举办致贺信，并在2020年宣布中国将力争2030年前实现碳达峰 这是中国给予推动构建人类命运共同体的正当当和实现可持续发展的内在要求做出的重大战略决策，为推动全球碳达峰、碳中和做出了积极贡献。发展清洁能源是改善能源结构、保障能源安全、推进全球绿色低碳
as we gather to celebrate 15th year's anniversary of CEM, I would like to express India's unwavering dedication to clean energy and our continued commitment to driving the CEM platform forward. Thank you very much. Namaskar. It's such a treat to join you all in celebrating 15 years of the Clean Energy Ministerial. From the very beginning, SEM has been a force multiplier for clean energy deployment around the world. Together, through SEM, we really have transformed the global energy landscape and we've made real tangible progress on transitioning our economies to net zero. The United States is proud to have been a SEM champion since day one. We hosted the very first ministerial. We proudly hosted the SEM Secretariat at the U.S. Department of Energy for its first seven years. And we have continued to support the Secretariat since it trans transitioned over to the International Energy Agency. Through more than 20 SEM initiatives and campaigns, the U.S. has worked with partners all over the world to deploy, deploy, deploy clean energy. We helped to drive SEM's early successes like the Global Lighting Challenge. If you remember, that deployed 14 billion high efficiency, high quality lighting products globally. We have uh, deepened our commitment to long-standing initiatives like the Clean Energy Solutions Center. And to date, we have helped more than 90 governments overcome obstacles to meeting their clean energy goals. And we've led the charge on newer initiatives like the supercharging battery storage initiative. We're supporting policies that'll help grid storage reach its potential, which will be essential for achieving the ambitious 2030 goals adopted at COP28. And through it all, the United States has joined SEM in putting people, their families, their future at the center of the clean energy transition. With the Equality Initiative, we're, getting, we're really closing the gender gap in the energy workforce. And with the Empowering People Initiative, we're helping countries lift up underserved communities in all parts of the clean energy economy. As we look ahead to the next 15 years, this much is clear. We need SEM now more than ever. By SEM's 30th anniversary, the deadlines for meeting our Paris Climate Agreement and global stock take pledges, they will already have come and gone. And no matter what, the world will look very different than it does today. But I am confident that this group will make sure that it's a world changed for the better. A world where clean energy delivers safety and prosperity and peace to all of its people. Through the Clean Energy Ministerial, the United States is committed to delivering that future. Join us. Thank you so much. And here's to the next 15 years. Dear colleagues, on behalf of the Intention Energy Agency, I wanted to wish a happy birthday to Clean Energy Ministerial for the 15th anniversary. As International Energy Agency, we are very happy, we are very proud to host Clean Energy Ministerial at our headquarters in Paris. And not only hosting them, sharing data, recommendations with our SAM colleagues is a great pleasure for all of us at the International Energy Agency. In the last 15 years, SAM achieved a lot. When you look at the first ministerial and today where we are, you can understand the difference. Also in the energy world, there are major changes in the last 15 years. For example, in the year 2010, there were only 8,000 electric cars sold in the entire world, 8,000. And this year, according to our numbers, the number of electric cars sold in the world will be close to 20 million. So from 8,000 to 20 million. Renewable energy, again, major, major growth. In terms of the wind capacity, it increased from 2010 to today by eight times. We installed this year eight times more wind than we did 15 years ago. In terms of the solar PV, we growth uh, uh, in last uh, 15 years, 
the size of new solar PV capacity increase by a factor of 50. So many achievements there, but of course, many, many things to do, especially when it comes the distribution of the clean energy transition around the world. There is a need, there is a big need to see the clean energy transition and clean energy investment go more and more in emerging and developing countries. Therefore, institutions like the International Energy Agency or the platforms like the Clean Energy Ministerial will play a very important role, bring everybody together to have a cleaner and better energy future. In this context, I would like to congratulate my colleagues in the Clean Energy Ministerial, all the ministers, all the countries who are contributing to the SAM and wishing them once again a happy birthday. Thank you. It is my distinct honor to congratulate SAM on 15 years of accelerating clean energy transition around the world. SAM's unwavering commitment to advancing clean energy solutions has been instrumental in driving progress toward a sustainable and resilient energy future. Over the past 15 years, SAM has served as a vital platform for international cooperation, fostering dialogue and catalyzing action on a wide range of clean energy priorities. From renewable energy deployment to energy efficiency, SEM has played a pivotal role in shaping global energy policies and promoting innovative technologies. ARENA is proud to have been a long-standing partner of SEM, working together to promote impactful change in the energy transition at the highest level. ARENA's role as a global platform for international cooperation strengthened SEM's efforts to drive action and innovation in clean energy. Together, we leverage a wide network and resources to achieve impactful results. As we look ahead, the need for accelerated action on climate change and energy transition is more urgent than ever. SEM's continued leadership and commitment to driving clean energy innovation will be essential in achieving our shared goals towards a sustainable future that is climate safe and energy secure for everyone. A future where we strongly believe renewable energy is the only viable solution. The commitment to triple renewable power capacity and double energy efficiency by 2030, as modeled by IRENA's World Energy Transition Outlook and adopted at COP28 as part of the EU consensus, we represent ambitious yet essential milestone along the path to net zero emission. Investment in infrastructure, supporting policies and regulatory framework, as well as realigning institutional capacity to help ensure the skill and capabilities match the energy system that we aspire to create are crucial pillars to accelerate renewable deployment and drive the needed structural changes. The complex and multidimensional nature of the energy transition requires international cooperation to ensure that a just and inclusive transition that leaves no one behind. Global communities need to invest more efforts to provide more financial flows technical assistance and capacity building to help the transition of emerging and developing economies. I encourage all members of SEM to remain steadfast in their pursuit of sustainable energy future. By working together, we can create a world that is powered by renewable energy, resilient to climate change and prosperous for all. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention.